Hello everyone, Matt the Great here, and in this video, I have a list of the top 5 best drift cars for Assetto Corza. These are all going to be mods, and every link to download these cars will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, you're going to want to stick around until the end because the last car is absolutely insane. Up at number 5, we have the BDC Nissan S14. This car looks absolutely amazing and performs that way as well. This is an extremely high quality mod with a perfect mix of angle, grip, power, speed, and it just looks amazing overall. This is the perfect low power car for beginners and intermediates alike. The force feedback on this car is absolutely amazing, and the map I'm drifting this car on in this video is called Drift Playground. The link for the download for this map is also in the description. Overall, this is a really fun and high quality mod. However, it lacks a little bit in power, but overall is still a great car to drift. And now for my rating system. For looks, I'd give this thing probably a 9, power, uh, I'd say 6, angle 7, and grip another 7. This car is overall really solid, and I really enjoy driving it. On to the next one. And now number 4, the Lexus IS300. This is from a car pack called the Clutch Gang Car Pack and is a really solid car to drive. This car sounds absolutely amazing and is super smooth to drift around the track. I really enjoy driving this car and it's just super fun all around. Beginners can drive this car or intermediates or even pros, it really doesn't matter. But if you're trying to have just some fun, chill drifting, this is the car for you. The car pack is great, so I highly recommend you download it if you're just trying to have some fun. Now for the rating. This is going to be pretty challenging because this is a really solid car, but I think I'm going to give it a 7, probably an 8, and another 8 for an angle. It gets really good angle, and then a 7 for grip. It doesn't have the best grip, but it slides around absolutely perfectly. Remember, all of these cars are available for download in the description. Now on to the third car. Now for the Gravy Garage BMW E36 Wagon. This car is insane. It gets tons of angle, tons of grip, and is absolutely crazy around the track. Everything about this car is literally perfection, except for how it looks because it's kind of boxy and long. However, if you can look past that, then this is absolutely an awesome car. Also, I think it's um, valid to add that the force feedback for this car is absolutely amazing on my wheel. It just feels really nice and realistic to drive. And I'm not even the best sim drifter around by any means. However, the angle that you can achieve with this car is absolutely insane. It has an awesome amount of power, grip, you get awesome angle with it. It's just a really great, fun car to drive. I should also say and tell you guys, but the Gravy Garage car pack, the car pack that this car is a part of, is just absolutely crazy. It's completely free, like every other car pack on this list. Um, it's just really solid, force feedback's great, all the cars are really solid, good amount of power. So I highly recommend that you download this car pack because I probably spend like 60% of my time in a set of fours up playing on this car pack. And now of course, for the rating. As I was saying before, this is a super solid car, I'm going to give it a 6 for looks, a 9 for power, and then probably a 9 just for everything else, because honestly, super solid car. The only thing is that it doesn't look the greatest, however, if you can look past that, then this is a great car for you, and I definitely recommend downloading this car pack. On to number 2 now. And here we have another Gravy Garage car, the Gravy Garage S13. This is an extremely high quality car mod. The force feedback was great on my wheel. It has the perfect amount of grip, gets the perfect amount of angle, and lacks a tiny bit on power, but as long as you clutch kick, you, you're like completely fine, literally. And this can be um, a really great thing if you're trying to learn as a beginner to clutch kick. This is a really great car to learn on. I love how loud this sounds. I don't know if I mentioned this with any of the other cars, but the interior on this car looks really good as well. So if I feel like first person view drifting, then this is my go-to car. And now for my final consensus and rating. Alright, so I definitely think this car looks really good, so I'm going to give it a 9 there. Power, a little bit lacking, I'll give it a 7. Angle, definitely a 9, really good. And then grip, also a 9. This car is overall extremely solid. I highly, highly recommend that you go and download that. All links are in the description.
And now the car that you've all been waiting for, you will not be disappointed. This car is the CW JZX100 Toyota Chaser. This car has the perfect amount of angle, grip, power, and it just looks really good. Also, the force feedback on my wheel is absolutely perfect. The interior of this car looks great, and just the light and the reflections off of this car look really, really realistic and good. This car has a ton of power and is obviously meant for more intermediate or professional drifters, which is why I'm frequently wall tapping in it. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite car of this bunch. Also, leave any video ideas you might have for me in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.